and welcome to uh, Stefan Eats. And in this video, uh, we're gonna continue our pizza series. Yes, our pizza diaries, I think. Uh, that's what we call it. Anyways, in this series, uh, we're just gonna try a whole bunch of random pizzas, not really a theme. Pizzas I've heard really good things about. This first spot uh, is kind of a higher end location, uh, but apparently they're also really well known for pizzas. Nightingale. Uh, yeah, I think this is part of Chef, uh, Chef Hawksworth. I think it's one of his restaurants or part of his collection. So anyways, we're gonna walk inside. We're gonna get a couple pizzas and I think I saw also there's a pasta that looks pretty good too. So yeah, let's go in. Just a couple notes. Uh, first of all, beautiful location. Really nice old building. The bar is stunningly beautiful. A really, really cool kind of old school looking bar. Almost kind of like a 30s type of vibe. And then just a grandiose kind of high ceiling type of place. Okay, two pizzas and really, yeah, those smells are just uh, permeating and so delicious. Okay, uh, first one here, we're gonna go for some chorizo. I think this has a chorizo on it. It has some shishito, pickled shishito peppers, some honey and mozzarella. And right away, what I love about both these pizzas are the, uh, is the char. And look at that char, just so much, oh yes. And it's so kind of fluffy, uh, fairly light, and the bottom uh, looks a little bit leopardized. Oh yes. So these are sliced too. Oh, look at that, yes, perfect. So. Uh, still a little bit gooey, uh, and yeah, you can tell it's very, very soft, and of course that beautiful chorizo on there, uh, the kind of green pickled shishito pepper. This is caressing my finger. Unfortunately, my finger doesn't have taste buds, but uh, this love does. That flavor is outstanding. I mean, the first uh, taste you get is that sweetness from the honey, very fragrant honey, and then just that very nice, kind of salty, uh, briny uh, chorizo. There's quite a lot of cheese, so you do get a little bit of like uh, meltiness from the cheese on top of that. I'm gonna try a little side there with the shishito pepper. Maybe a little bit of vinegariness, but you don't really taste the shishito peppers, but overall that flavor is uh, really nice. That sweetness just counterbalances that kind of salty, um, that salty, whiny taste uh, from the uh, chorizo. Uh, the only thing I would say is maybe could use a little bit more of that pickled shishito because I don't really get it that much. This one is a mushroom, coffee garlic, and I think there's some fontina and some, uh, I think it's arugula pesto, and this looks absolutely stunning. So this is another kind of very, very saucy looking bite. I got you a whole bunch of cheese on there, that mushroom, uh, that pesto is just looking beautiful kind of dollops um, yeah it uh, looks like there are some dollops kind of spread around the pizza and just huge massive pieces of confit garlic this looks amazing yeah let's give it a shot mm, so creamy so cheesy that fontina just adds an extra layer of cheesiness fontina doesn't have that much taste it's another type of uh, very mild cheese. But then what I really like are just those mushrooms are kind of cut a little bit thicker. So you get that kind of beautiful earthiness from the mushroom. You definitely taste the mushroom. I'm trying a little bit more of that arugula pesto on there, maybe with this uh, piece of garlic there. That roasted garlic just completely dissolved. Yeah, that was a big piece too. That's like a giant creamy bit of roasted garlic and then mixed in with that super fragrant pesto. Oh, and arugula pesto, really well done too. Not too salty. Wow. I like both, but I think this this might take the cake for me. This is, uh, yeah, this is probably my favorite one here. And then this, just because we had to, it's a pea and ricotta tortellini with a, I think it's a lemon butter sauce. And yeah, let's rehydrate this tortellini right there. Let's put a little bit more butter. <laughs> and this looks absolutely amazing. Look at that. Okay. Mm. You can taste that pea for sure. Very fresh pea in there, almost uh, liquidized inside. And then that lemon butter, you can taste the tartness of the lemon, uh, fairly buttery. 
And then I love those nuts. Uh, just a little bit of extra texture at the end. The pasta skin is a little bit thick and a little bit al dente. So a little bit more al dente than I'm used to, but overall it still works really well as a whole pasta dish. Uh, I think it's a very, very solid pasta. Oh, hi. Okay, our next spot. Am I supposed to get up or what? Is Okay. Our right, next spot is right ahead for me over here. Just watched a Mark Wiens video in Philadelphia, uh, and I saw this giant kind of slice of pizza, uh, pizza cheesy goodness, and it made me feel like a giant meat pizza uh, for us. So let's go get some uh, meat pizza over here. So, uh, two pizzas here, and yeah, they kind of come in flatbread form. Uh, this one actually wasn't on the menu when I was originally looking at it. Uh, and as soon as we saw it on the menu here, I think it's fairly new, uh, we, we knew we had to get it. I think it's like a peach pizza, so fresh local peaches. You have some uh, prosciutto, uh, some uh, sun-dried tomatoes, and a little bit of, uh, of uh, pesto, it looks like. And I love the smells. Oh, the smells are intoxicating. Uh, I'm gonna take this kind of corner one with uh, some of those peaches on there. It is still summer, so it is peach season in the uh, Okanagan here in British Columbia. And look at that, yes, perfect. Oh, okay, yeah, join the party, there you go. Mmm, that was a whole bunch of prosciutto. So nice salty kick from the prosciutto. You get a little bit more uh, saltiness from the, um, the sun-dried tomatoes. Peaches are a little bit caramelized, so there's a bit of sweetness, but they're not too sweet. I think the pesto, you don't taste too much, but the cheese is also a nice little addition to this. Uh, kind of more of like a, a flatbread style. And I think there's some cornmeal on the bottom too. I think that one's all about the prosciutto. And then those peaches kind of, at the end, you, you do taste the peach a little bit. Uh, this one I think is gonna be Probably the very exciting one for me. This is called the dirty. So there's some meatball. There's some pepperoni uh, There's some banana peppers, and I think that's pretty much it loaded with a whole bunch of cheese and then just look at that whole oh, Yes, tearing apart absolutely beautifully And there you go <laughs> wow, yeah, salty, meaty, greasy, goodness, uh, those pepperoni, yeah, those pepperonis just have kind of pulled, or you can see there's a little bit of like that pepperoni grease that has pulled up to the top mixing with that cheese. Uh, the meatball, I think is kind of, uh, I don't really taste the meatball because there's so much kind of pepperoni on there. Let me just try a meatball by itself. Actually, good meatball too. The meatball's kind of saturated in that uh, tomato sauce, uh, so it does taste fairly like a meatball. And of course, the banana peppers uh, just add a little bit of like a zing, um, not that spicy, uh, but overall just super greasy, pizza y goodness. As much as this one's kind of cool and unique, sometimes you do have to stick to the basics. Kind of like a guilty pleasure pizza. A little bit on the higher end, so it is $27 for this pizza, uh, but yeah, it satisfies you pretty pretty well, and it is actually a fairly fairly decent size too. And our next spot is uh, on a block we know uh, really really well because uh, we actually did a block challenge on this block. We tried a whole bunch of spots like Filipino food, uh, places across the street over here called Say Mercy. Uh, I'll link up the video just over here. Boop. There you go, right there. Let's go. I think I just saw a seat open up. First pizza has shown up and uh, this is uh, kind of like a more simple one. This is a fennel uh, sausage pizza with some arugula on top. Uh, I think there are some, looks like some kind of caramelized onions on there. Uh, like I said, uh, Neapolitan style, so obviously very thin crust. Uh, and this is another Neapolitan one we haven't included in our uh, previous Neapolitan video. Watch it, it's up here, there you go. And this one has just shown up here and this is a, co uh, this is a coconut kale and mushroom one and what's really cool is there's coconut cream this is a very unique one so this one actually was maybe one of the reasons i came here first of all sausage fennel let's go uh so let's break it up and yeah super super thin uh look at the bottom here too oh look at that beautiful bottom yes look at that uh, just like i've explained in other videos uh the leopardization is very important especially neapolitan pizza this one feels like they've uh, put a bit of cornmeal on the bottom too 
what I really like is you kind of up the spiciness a little bit. You, you have kind of like full bits of Calabrian chili uh, cut up into the pizza. And I think they may put some Calabrian chili oil on top of that. Uh, so it's a little bit spicier than you're used to. Obviously the sausage is really nice, nice and crispy, nice saltiness. Overall, very, very thin crust. So I really like the crust. As much as it is a little bit spicy, uh, we could use a little bit more. So a very cute little spoon, a bit of the Calabrian chili oil, and we'll just put it right on there. Cheese and chili oil, and of course that nice kind of a darker crust can't complain. This one is the one that was really unique. So, like I said, coconut kale uh, and the coconut cream on the bottom. And I think they also have some, um, I think they also have fruity latte, so kind of an interesting mix of the coconut and of course the cheese on there. So I guess they won't be vegan, but that's perfectly fine with me. Giant slices of mushroom, uh, looks like it's seasoned with some kind of, uh, yeah, I don't know, some red stuff. Yeah, let's take a bite. chili head you will love these pizzas because they're, they're actually bringing a decent amount of spice mm. it does taste a lot like a coconut curry obviously a little bit more uh, mild and I think there's some cheese in there for sure I want to definitely try this big mushroom though maybe just by itself mm. Yeah, mm. I like that mushroom in there. Adds a nice kind of a soft texture. Kale is fairly crispy, so mixing it with that kind of coconut curry. What I like too is they haven't put too much of this. Uh, they haven't put too much of the sauce on there. Crust is actually still keeping uh, a crispy texture. And the meatballs have shown up uh, right away. What I like is the three meatballs. <laughs> So some places just give you one meatball. This place has uh, given actually four. Oh wow! Okay, let's uh, let's make this stumble a little bit. Oh yes! Oh, oh! This is like meat Lego. It's delicious. <laughs> Perfect. And I'm gonna take a, kind of like a big spoonful. Oh yes! And the sauce is already incorporated there. Oh look at that! Yes, love it. Very different than a lot of meatballs, and I, I really like it. There's a spiciness that comes from inside the meatball. The meatball feels like it's probably half sausage, half something else. Here's the inside right there. The inside is very spiced, and it almost tastes like they have potentially some kind of spiced sausage in there. There's a sausage called an anduja or anduja. I probably destroyed that. But anyways, it's kind of like an Italian or a kind of spicy sausage, uh, one that you can kind of spread. And I feel like it's maybe half that and maybe some other type of meat. Uh, yeah, a little bit spicier, a little bit more uh, kind of like a wine flavor, uh, almost like a chorizo. The texture is not going to be as soft as other meatballs that I've had, uh, but that flavor is just kind of popping in your mouth. That is some fire flavor coming from there. The sauce is uh, fairly simple, uh, but yeah, really, really nice sauce. And yeah, I love that. Oh, wow. Maybe get some uh, extra olive oil on there too. Oof. Yeah, super good. Oh, whoops. I dropped some kale. I guess you could call that kale lateral damage. <laughs> and our next spot, speaking of uh, different types of uh, pie, I don't think I've really uh, dived into uh, the vegan pizza scene. Yes, there is a vegan pizza scene. Uh, so yeah, Virtuous Pie, I've heard a lot of uh, cool things about it. Using cashew cheese as a Frenchman. Cheese is very important to me. So let's see if this uh, stacks up to, uh, you know, that kind of nice uh, stretchy uh, mozzarella. Uh, but anyways, I think we already have a couple of uh, pies that we've uh, looked at and uh, let's go inside. I think they're just opening uh, right now. So uh, they are to go only uh, right now. Let's try these pizzas. Uh, vegan pizza, cashew cheese, and this is the first one here. Whoa, this is called the CBR. I think there's some kind of uh, cauliflower bits. Uh, right away what I've noticed is it's a little bit kind of uh, smaller than the normal pizzas that you do get. Uh, there's some broccoli on there, which is kind of cool, and then some arugula, uh, and I think, yeah, there is cauliflower somewhere in here, if I'm not mistaken, and of course, uh, some pesto, a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, let's take this one, a uh, little bit softer, look at that, oh yes, fairly hot, and we wanted to do this right away. Mmm, 
I don't know if there's really cheese on here. It's almost like a bechamel sauce. Obviously, you can tell the bechamel does not have milk in it. Uh, but yeah, kind of, oh wow, it's like a uh, cream cauliflower. I think I taste some garlic in there. <laughs> you get a little bit of tanginess from the uh, sun-dried tomato. I like what the uh, sun-dried tomato brings to the table because it does kind of cut into a little bit of that richness, but it's not too rich because obviously you're missing that milk and all that stuff. The crust is fairly soft. Maybe I'd like the crust to be a little bit kind of crispier. Well, overall, yeah, you have all the elements, salty, fat, uh, and yeah, some veggies in there. This is the mushroom one, I think it's called fungi. Uh, so this one she really recommended. She hyped it up quite a bit, and there you go, and it's full of arugula. Okay, I think this is the cashew cheese there. Uh, there's some truffle oil, a whole bunch of mushrooms. She said if you love mushrooms, this is really your type of pizza. So let's eat this arugula pizza. <laughs> and. Uh, I, there's not much else you can see. Let me move away. Uh, let me move the arugula out of the way a little bit. And then you can see some of that mushroom in there. Yes, there you go. Perfect. Quite a lot of mushrooms. Uh, actually, not as much uh, truffle oil flavor as I thought. Uh, but then, yeah, actually, it is very mushroom forward, which I like quite a lot. Um, that cheese. <laughs> All right, I'll be very honest with you. I'm not gonna hate too much on vegan cheese. Uh, but for me, I don't know. I can't really get over the cheese uh, component, uh, the vegan cheese. You can, yeah, you can't really replace real cheese, especially when it's a good quality mozzarella or a good quality ricotta. I don't think there's any replacement for that. And that's the only knock I'll give on this pizza. Other than that, I think it's a very solid pizza overall and if you love mushrooms yeah you get a lot of mushrooms in this one and you are getting your money's worth and the last one is a uh, marion berry ice cream uh marion berry actually wait marion berry cheesecake ice cream sandwich i think these are uh chocolate chip cookies and then uh, there's a marion berry in the middle marion berry uh looking it up it is a type of a black berry and i think it's mixed in with some uh, uh some vanilla ice cream I like that a lot. First of all, uh, the two giant cookies, great. Yeah, nice uh, chocolate flavor from there. Uh, definitely some milk chocolate. The Marion Berry is nice and tart. Got the ice cream sandwich. That's a really solid ice cream sandwich. I like the cookie a lot, and the flavor of the ice cream is really nice. Mm. Gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, and our last spot is actually a ghost kitchen. Uh, they're operating out of a restaurant called Park Drive, uh, just next to Commercial Drive, so we're gonna get it to go, and luckily, uh, my house is super close by. Now let's go get that pizza. <laughs> Nothing to say. <laughs> Here we are back at the old house and yep, it's definitely uh, not Kansas anymore. So it says on the thing, just I copied it. I have no original material. <laughs> okay, so uh, Yantin Pizza. Uh, I've actually had it once before and it is a really good. It's a ghost kitchen and the only reason I know about it is because they sent us a flyer and uh, we decided to uh, just uh, give it a shot. So anyways, uh, two pizzas. Uh, this one will be the cheese. Yes, perfect. Uh, yeah, so a whole bunch of different cheeses. I think gorgonzola, there's some fior di latte. Uh, what else is there? Yeah, a whole bunch of other ones, I think. I think there's probably about five cheeses altogether. There's actually an option to add more fior di latte on it, uh, which we didn't do because there was already fior di latte on the pizza. I think we did notice that the crust is a little bit larger than usual too. And hopefully this didn't sit around too. Oh, I like the big slices too. Look at that, massive slice. Oh. Uh, now this has probably been, ooh, there's still a cheese pull. Look at that, look at that. Oh yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, so there's a bit of a cheese pull. I think we've waited about maybe 15, 20 minutes uh, till we can eat this. Uh, so yeah, I love the big slices, uh, very kind of pillowy. Mm. No hate against a vegan cheese. Actually, yeah, maybe just a little bit of hate, but <laughs> yeah, normal cheese just miles ahead. I'm really sorry, but yeah, you can't just, you can't replace normal cheese. This is just so good, so cheesy. I think underneath there's some kind of another type of bechamel sauce. Uh, wow, you get a saltiness uh, from the, uh, there's some Parmesan on there too. Delicious, stretchy, uh, wow, and so decadent, of course. And I'm gonna get a bit of that gorgonzola on the side too. Mm-hmm. Oh, that gorgonzola just adds an extra layer of flavor. Mm, not too much of it, too. I guess there's a little bit of a 
caramelization on the cheese. So you got a little bit of that uh, delicious kind of caramelized uh, burnt cheese, kind of cheese crust flavor on top of that. Whoever grew up in high school in Vancouver, you've probably gone to Fresh Slice and you've had the white slice. It's a little bit like that, but a thousand times better with more garlic, more cheese, uh, way better ingredients. Wow, that is super delicious. Okay, the next one, it's a lot of meat. <laughs> Let's open it up. Oh, yes, perfect. So this one has some uh, pepperoni, it has chicken, I think it has capicolo, and maybe a couple of other things. Uh, oh, yeah, some prosciutto too. And of course, I do have a second taste tester here just to make sure things are of uh, very high quality. Hey, what's this? Huh? Oh yeah, oh, there you go. Let's dig into this one, just full meat uh, beauty. Oh yeah, this one's actually, oh maybe, was that a slice or what was that supposed to be? Okay, let's go, let's do this one just for, oh there you go, that one is a bit easier. Do you want me to eat you? Yes, yes I do. You're gonna eat me? Yeah, I'm gonna eat you. All right, let's take a bite. Oh, what the hell? No, not you. Mm. Bruh, get out of here. I'm angry. Two of them oh, now. Two of them. Right, Ma'am. First of all, super meaty. I like the chicken in there. I love the, there's some kind of spicy god go away. Oh, there's, why the meat? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. That capicolo is super delicious. I like all the meats in there. Uh, lots of sauce, uh, very cheesy, and then the chicken. Yeah, really, really delicious. Can't go wrong. Just a whole bunch of cured meats, and for some reason, chicken uh, on a whole bunch of cheese, and it's just salty, cheesy, delicious goodness. And uh, that will be it for our uh, epic uh, pizza vlog. Thinking about it, our favorite pizza in this video was definitely the one at Nightingale. That mushroom pizza was just absolutely phenomenal. I'm going to put that pizza probably in the top five uh, must-try pizzas in Vancouver. It was that good. Also, uh, I'm going to throw you guys a little bit of a curveball. And yeah, you'll see. There's going to be an exciting announcement coming up uh, very, very uh, soon. And I'm actually really, really excited. So anyways, thank you so much for joining us. If you enjoy our videos, don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so we can notify you of uh, future uh, videos and of course uh, hit us up with those comments let us know how we're doing uh, if there are other pizzas we should try that will do it for us uh, i'm gonna have a long awkward walk up the stairs over there i'll see you very soon ciao for now